Today we're looking at health connections and trust. And we're asking the question, who can I trust? Trust is defined as confidence or calm reliance in the ability, strength, or dependability of something or someone. The challenges of life can either make a person isolated and bitter or balanced and better able to participate in life. How we handle hardship has more to do with mental, physical, and spiritual health than many realize. We're living in times of increased stress and uncertainty. Trust is hardwired into babies, and ideally, trust should grow. Betrayals, loss, and failed relationships cause a loss of trust. Trust, optimism, and freedom from chronic anxiety yield valuable physical and mental health benefits. The healthiest social relationships are marked by trust, cooperation, and fairness. Trust doesn't mean being gullible or allowing abuse, but it's recognizing flaws and imperfections in ourselves and others, but knowing that growth and strength are possible, even in imperfect situations with imperfect people. Trust is good medicine. Trust is linked with improved immune health, faster recovery, better overall health, and positive social ties. Knowing that you can trust God produces an internal joy that is not dependent on things or people or circumstances. Team attitudes of trust at work are linked with less sickness and absenteeism and better service. God's transforming power to face the ups and downs of life is remarkable. The ability to trust comes from God. His character shows us how to forgive and reestablish trust. Trusting God, even in difficult times, will change every part of your life, attitudes, and actions. It even affects your mental and physical health. Difficult times come to all, and because of sin, life is not always easy or fair. Jesus tells us that in this world, we will have tribulation. Jesus wants to heal us. This is an inside job that goes far beyond external behavior. It's an inner transformation that leads to new strength, desires, attitudes, and actions. Know that God is in control, even when you do not have the answers or understand the situation. He is personally interested in you. He has a plan. God also tells us to be of good cheer because he has overcome the world. He has come to heal the brokenhearted. You are unique, a child of God and of great value. You are created in God's image for a holy purpose. We are invited to trust him because he loves us just as we are. And we love because God first loved us. When we accept God's unconditional love for us and holy trust in his power to transform our lives, amazing things begin to happen. Healing trust is real. God's love will prompt you to make healthy choices. Surround yourself with a health-promoting environment. Be active in mind and body. It will prompt you to be available to others, to have a positive outlook, and to trust him fully with your life. We are energized to take better care of ourselves in order to reflect his character to a needy world. When you lean on God, you will be able to press into Christ, press through life's ups and downs, and press on to victory. The Bible says God is a refuge for us. The Bible describes faith as the assurance of things hoped for, the evidence of things that we don't see. Faith is looking at every situation through God's eyes. He will provide all your needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. Faith is power for the journey, not a lucky charm to avoid problems. God invites you to trust him with your daily life and present situation, to allow him to calm and lead you, and to spend time in his word because it is there that you will learn to trust him more. These steps of trust have more to do with mental, physical, and spiritual health than many realize.
They're a decision of the will and a discipline of the mind, attitudes, and daily life. You will learn to devote more time in prayer. The Bible says, I will trust in you. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear. As God has spoken to your heart, will you make the decision to trust him with your life and your circumstances? Trust in Christ, your Redeemer. He will save you, heal you, and guide you through every circumstance of life.